Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. My name is Jalal Ahmed, and in this video, we are going to learn that how to search a particular data in our database tables. So, for that purpose, I will take a text field. Here it is. Click on it and put it in here. Just a little bit, drag it and edit the text as null. Then take a button and put it in here, and also edit text for this button as search. So what we will do, I will write in here in this text field and then I will click the search button and it will be searched and all these text fields will be filled accordingly. So for that purpose, right click on this button, events, action and action performed. Okay, our event is now created. First of all, I will take try catch block, right try, press control space and enter the try catch block. Now write string SQL is equal to select all from users where F name is equal to okay. So what does it mean? We are selecting everything from the table which is named as users. Here it is users and in users we are searching according to this column it is name of a column let me show you as well this one as well this is users table and this is name of the column and we will search according to these names in this table okay this line is now done and right now pst is equal to con dot prepare statement now this one is also done and now write pst dot set string right here one and there what we will write in there what else we are writing in here it will come in this query it will be put in this query automatically so I will take we are writing in here and we will put this in the query just take variable name of it jtx field one i will change it for our ease i rename it search copy it and paste it in here and we'll get text from this text field okay so we are getting a value we are getting the text which we write in the search name of a text field and we will uh, we are putting it in here so what will it become select all from users which is name of a table where f name this is name of the column is equal to this is equal to this value okay after that write rs is equal to pst dot execute query and everything is now fine and what and here we will check if everything is fine or not so write rs dot next and if everything is fine then we will put the retrieved data we will put the retrieved data into these text fields so for that purpose i will write i will write string value one is equal to rs dot get string so in here just write name of the column from where we are retrieving the data so i will write f name okay this line is done now and then i will i have retrieved data in this line and i will put in the i will put data in the text fields in the next line so what will be the next line just follow my steps okay write um, name of the column name of the text field sorry i will put the name in this change variable name i will copy it and paste it in here f name dot set text okay put this will variable in here and let's check now press shift f6 to execute the program and write in here i will search according to these names of this column so i will first i will first search with my with my own name this one is here j a l a l and we'll click search and you can see it is the first name is filled with uh, with the value accordingly 
so cancel this operation and what if I take this part of the code copy it and okay just remove this line and now let's check press shift f6 and again I will write Jalal and search and you can see it is working so now we will repeat all the steps for the remaining four text fields as well so just copy it press sh control shift D sorry I think it is not not the shortcut copy it and paste it four times okay the first one is fine we will take name of this text field copy it and paste it in here and F name so for the L name what is the L name means the last name so what we have taken it is also the L name so Sam is the name in the text in the database table as well L name and now for the name for the father text field I will copy name of the text field and will paste it in here father and in the database let's check for the column name it is also the father father and now similarly I will take this one copy it and paste it in here okay and uh, let's it is also in here that's column name is also city so I will write in here city the last one is country copy it and paste it in here and let's check for the column name for country so you can see it is also name named as country okay now let's press shift f6 to execute our jframe and now I will search for my own name or let's search for this one for this one Ali I will write Ali and will click search and you can see everything is filled accordingly you can uh, compare these values with the table okay this was uh, this was a video about how to write in search field and click button and fill all the fields accordingly now what if I want to write uh, if I if I want to search according to the um, key for key events so I will write and all the fields will be filled accordingly without pressing this button so for that purpose I will show you another method as well just copy this code copy and right click on the text field where you want to make the event I will do it with the search just take action and come to key and the second one key released okay just paste all of the code in here okay now everything is fine and let's press shift F6 and now let's search for this one this one forward F A W A D and you can see when it finds a record after releasing the key it fills all of the fields accordingly so that was about this tutorial and uh, I hope you guys have learned something new please uh, leave a comment so that I can enhance my videos for you and if you like the video please hit like button and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon as well to uh, get notifications for more of my videos thank you